I want to welcome you to the Prodigal Son Podcast. You know, I spent the biggest part of my life thinking God was just mad at me, just ticked, and found out in my mid-40s that that was a religious lie that nobody needed to ever believe. I thank God that I have known and understood that that I can count on him like a trusted friend. That's the reason we do this podcast six days a week. I record five of these podcasts, and, and then I put my pastor's message on Sunday on this podcast for people to grow and be strengthened and and come to realize that God's a good God. He's not out to hurt anybody, but he wants to to, to see us come to him to love us and to care for us. Oh, I thank God for that. Now, I I, I want you to understand something. This podcast is, is put out in a lot of different avenues and a lot of different ways. Uh, we It's shared over all kinds of different platforms. But I want to ask you, I, I want to ask you to share these podcasts on your social media, if you if you uh, if you listen to this podcast, put it on your Facebook account, Instagram, whatever you whatever you whatever social media platform you use, share these. Help us get the word out that that the Lord's a good God, and He wants more than anything to be part of every person on this planet's life. He wants to love us and care for us and minister us minister to us through his word and and that's what that's what this podcast is all about to teach people and and help them to understand and to know that they can count on God's word as much as they can count on the word of a trusted friend more they can count on him more oh i thank god for that truth today share these podcasts on your social media I want to take just a minute and thank all the partners. Partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry, helping us put this put this podcast on on the internet six days a week, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, to give his word away free of charge. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over every partner of this ministry. A hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. Now listen, I, I want to emphasize this. This podcast is free. It's been given to you free of charge. Now give it away. Encourage others to find out what God's Word says to them, for them, and about them. My prayers for you come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know I do these prayers every time I do this podcast and because I want the, the people of this world to know and understand the love, the vastness that God's love or the vastness of God's love that he has for every person that walks the face of this earth. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full 
full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how deep, how deep his love is. Let me back up. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he has given me a glimpse of his love that he has for me. And that's what I want for every person that walks the face of this earth, that you could come to understand the vastness of God's love, just how much God loves you. Glory to God. Let's see what God's Word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your Word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light that I should be, that you can shine through, the vessel that you can speak through to proclaim your goodness to the world. Lord, I thank you, and I praise you for all you're doing, all you have done, and all you're going to do. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. You know, we we were in uh, Jeremiah, the 29th chapter yesterday, and I I just, I feel like that we need to stay there. I um, um, I don't think I finished what I was starting yesterday. And, you know, we were talking about God's wanting, wants success for your Christian life. And I want to talk to you today about achieving that success in your Christian life. And I'm going to go with the same scripture that we talked about yesterday, and that's the 13th verse of Jeremiah 29, 13. It says, And ye shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. You know, I don't know that I was ever any more determined about anything in my life than I was determined to have a, to an achieve, achieve success in my Christian life, to have a strong Christian life. I wanted that. For, I, for a long, long, long time, I can remember as a as a little child, desiring to have my 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 parents born again. Now I'm talking about before I was ever really before I ever really knew about salvation. Uh, you know, I I think of that I had an experience when I was a, a, a little kid. And I think it was more of a fear thing than it was really realizing what Jesus Christ had done for me and the sacrifice he had made. But, you know, I I think throughout my life I I had tried, just strove, just done all that I knew to do to have a successful Christian life and failed miserably and, and didn't understand that a Christian life was possible. I, I was, I guess, I it's been it was instilled in me as as a young man that you know it was just impossible to live a Christian life, and I don't know where it came from, but I know this: it was a lie. And and when I found out that that lie had stolen all those years from me, it changed me. It, it gave me a determination. And, you know, we talking about God wanting a, a, a six, you to have a successful Christian life yesterday. Well, I want to talk to you today about achieving success in your Christian life. 
and it goes right along with what we read yesterday and today. When you seek him, the, the, the Bible says, God says, and ye shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. There's a difference in, in just haphazardly doing something and, and you know, just, just, I don't know, just going at it halfway. I, I, if, if there's something in my life that I want to do, I do it with, with everything that's in me. I've always been that way. When I started my business for years, I, I lived and breathed doing, conducting business and, and doing that. And, 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 and the Lord blessed my efforts. I mean, I, I can't, I can't thank anyone but Him for all that he has given me because it's ble- the, uh, the good things of the world are blessings from God. You may say, well, I don't agree with that. Well, I do. If, if God's going to bless you, those blessings are, are straight from him and the good things of life, not the bad things, but the good things. But I guess that's been instilled in me for a lot of years that if you're going to do something, do it a hundred, give a hundred and ten percent on it, and I and I have, and and this this life that I have lived for the last almost six years now is is something that I have given my whole heart to, and and when you when you search for Him and seek God. With your whole heart, I assure you that you're going to achieve. You're going to achieve that success that we've been talking about. I want to go back to John, Third John, and read that again. What we were talking about yesterday, because I don't think we're we're finished with that. You know, I, there's not a doubt in my mind that the world's full of people that have that want more than anything to have a, a Christian relationship with God. They, they, there's not a doubt in my mind that they, they want a relationship with God. But there's not a doubt in my mind also that they struggle just like I did, thinking it's impossible, thinking that, uh, that they're not capable of living that Christian life. When all they have to do is is live that Christian life through Him, through their Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to read this scripture. And I want to tell you tell you what happened yesterday. It, uh, Third John, Third John, two, one and two. Third John one and two. It says, "Beloved, I be I wish above all things." that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Now, there's not a doubt in my mind that that is God wanting us to prosper and be healthy so that we can be a light and a help to others, a help to others. You know, I, 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 we, my family was invited to, uh, to come to a, 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 a friend of our daughter's home to a uh, life group, I think is what they call it. it you know, they just kind of study and fellowship. And and uh, I got to uh, share with them what changed my life, and, and that was finding out who I was in Jesus Christ. And, you know, I found out that, that a lot of people, a, a, a great deal of of Christian people that 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 desire to be be strong in Him have the same trouble that everybody else has, and they think that you know talking about something and 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 uh, wanting things to to be different in their life will change things when. When I found out years and years ago that if I believe what God says about that situation, those situations will change. How you say, well, how's that going? How are they going to change? Faith in God. Faith 
in his word. Faith in him, not in us, but in him. I told him yesterday, I said, when I found out who I was in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I don't ever have to worry about him him uh, backing off and, 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 and leaving me out in the cold. It changed my life. And I started seeking him, seeking what he, he was, you know, what he was wanting for my life in his word and, and finding finding out that there is so many things in this world that that God can use us in, can help people, strengthen people, lift people up to find out that, hey, you know, I don't have to struggle through life the way that the, that, that the world says I do or religion says I do. You know, Jesus said it. He said, in this world, you shall have tribulation. He didn't say that you was going to be without problems or without challenges, as, as the brother said yesterday at that meeting. But, but he did say, he said, in this world you have, will have tribulation. He said, but be of good cheer. He said, I have overcome the world. And glory to God, he has. And in him, we're the same overcomers that, that, that he is. And we can we can achieve success through that truth, through that 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 uh that unmistakable strength that that truth brings in our lives. People, we've got a we've got something to find out in our lives, and it that that thing is that we can stand on what God's word says. That just winds me up to think that I can stand on what God has said to me, for me, and about me in His word. I can take it to the bank that it's true. I can take it to the bank that He is for me, not against me, and I can achieve. A successful Christian life through the truth in God's Word. If I, all I have to do is seek Him with my whole heart. You say, well, how do I do that? How do I seek God? Seek His Word. Get in His Word and find out what He is saying to you, for you, and about you in His Word. One of the biggest, best truths that I ever found out in my life, it was that God's Word was God speaking to me. God wrote that Word down to speak to me. He wrote it down to speak to you. He's no respecter of person. What He says to me, He says to you in His Word and He wants you to find that out. He wants you to be strong in that and realize that that achieving success in your Christian life is as easy as picking up His Word and, and taking it and hiding it in your heart, putting it in your heart so His Holy Spirit can, can draw on that Word, that faith that that Word brings when you put it into your spirit, man, and, 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 and become spirit-minded and Word-minded. And look to God's word for every, every answer that you need in your life. You, and you, you, you say, well, I, that's well and good. I understand what you're talking about, but I don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. If you are saying that this morning, I want you to understand something. That that's the easiest thing in the world to achieve. And that is a relationship with Jesus Christ. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. That's what I want you to see and understand today, that if, you'll, if you will open the door to your heart to Jesus Christ and make him Lord of your life, that is the first step to achieving 
a successful Christian life, achieving success in your Christian life, and that is opening the door to God to come into your heart through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, and allowing Him to change your life. And then get to get in His Word and seek Him with your whole heart. Seek Him with everything you've got and and get in His Word and say, God, what are you telling me to do today? How are you speaking to me today? And I promise you, He'll speak to you. He'll strengthen you. He'll help you. He'll change your life like it's never been changed before. Glory to God. Hey, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. I want to hear what you need him to do in your life. If you've got a prayer request, send it to me. I want to send you uh, scriptures that you can stand on directly linked to your problem, to your prayer request. And I want to agree with you according to God's Word, according to those scriptures, that 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 problem, that request has been taken care of through the truth in God's Word. Contact us. Share these podcasts on your social media. Share these things on that for, with others so that they can, can draw on the strength and the truth and God's Word. That's what I'm here for, to give this to you free of charge, to help you see and understand that God's for you, not against you. Glory to God. Hey, if you're not a partner of this ministry, pray about becoming a partner. You know, I thank God for faithful partners that this ministry has. Partners, I want to thank you that 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 you faithfully sow into this ministry to help us do what we are commissioned by God to do, and that is to give His Word away free of charge to anybody that will listen. I thank God for faithful partners. And if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. You know, the Bible says in Luke 6, 38, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. I assure you, you've not sold one nickel into God's kingdom that he won't return it a hundredfold back to you. Back to you. Why? Because his word says that in Mark 10, 29. And I thank God that I have partners that know and understand that and stand on that truth, the truth in God's word. Pray about becoming a partner. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.